Tails and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, these. <laughs> uh, I get a lot of people asking me why my 3D printer is permanently running. Um, and I do all kinds of things with my printer, but in this particular instance, the reason my printer is running all the time at the moment is it's printing these. Um, now, you might say, well, what on earth are they? And, you know, why does it, this one have a Batman logo on it? Um, well, it may not have escaped your attention that we're having a bit of a health crisis at the moment. And basically, uh, one of the issues faced by a lot of healthcare professionals and care workers and every, you know, cleaners, every, you name it, uh, is having to wear uh, masks. Now, these masks, you've seen them on the TV, you know, and all the rest of it. Some of you probably are wearing them right now. Um, but basically, they go over your nose and mouth and they hook over your ears with a piece of elastic and the problem is that when you're wearing those things all day long which a lot of people now have to they're very uncomfortable to wear because the elastic basically digs into your ears um, which is not a pleasant thing so basically people have been 3d printing uh, this kind of thing and basically what this does is it goes on the back of your head and then the elastic straps for the mask hook over these instead of hooking over your ears and they make them a lot more comfortable to wear. Now, the reason I settled on this particular design when I decided to do this um, was it was one that popped up in a 3D printing group that I'm in um, and a chap there had printed some of these for uh, some people that he knew that needed them and it turned out that they were too short um, and the problem was I, I don't know all the ins and outs of it and I'm not going to mention any names or brands or anything because I don't want to you know give anyone any negative publicity but apparently there is a certain brand of mask where the elastic straps are slightly shorter than some other brands and what this chap found on discussion with his compadres uh, was that the these masks, which were originally this long, uh, were too short. These headbands were too short, uh, and it, it pulled the you know the, the, the elastic tight as a bowstring. Um, so what he did was he modified the design, and that's why they have these little extensions on the end to make them a little bit longer. He also added these uh, <laughs> Batman. This one's Batman. Uh, We've got Wonder Woman there, and uh, uh, there's that Superman. Um, he also, there are a few others, there's like Iron Man and Deadpool and stuff like that. Um, so, anyway, I, I have relatives who work for the NHS, and I mentioned these to them, and they were very excited. And so I started printing them. And as you can see, I have printed a fair few. There's, I've already sent a load out, but... Um, so these are going to uh, primarily um, a maternity unit where a, a, a relative of mine works. Um, now, the reason I'm telling you this is not so everybody goes, oh, look at him, what a great guy he is, because I really hate people that do that, that try and take something like this and make it all about them, because it is not about me at all. Um, the reason I'm showing you these is because if you have a 3D printer, this is something that you can do that will make a real difference to people. Um, so, yeah, and, and <laughs> it's kind of interesting because these things are great because, I mean, I print these two at a time because they are quite long and I have to put them at like 45 degree angle across the bed. Um, so I can only print two at a time. It takes about an hour and a half to print two of them. Um, but the thing is they don't use a lot of filament. And so one thing they're very handy for is if, like me, you have loads of rolls of filament that have only got a few feet left on them, you can use these to get rid of all those little scraps of filament that you've got left. So it's a double whammy. You're helping other people and you're helping yourself at the same time. So there you go. Um, so I will put a link to the Thingiverse uh, page for these. Um, and if you have a 3D printer and you feel like helping out, then go and print some and uh, in some safe fashion, get them to your local hospital or care facility. So uh, that was it really. 
um, yeah, just thought I'd uh, pass that on. So, yes, if you're wondering why the 3D printer's running in all my other videos, that's why. Anyway, uh, that was all really just a, a, a quickie. Stop laughing at the back. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers. Bye.